Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about serial in serial out shift register, serial in parallel out shift register. These are very simple and easy shift registers. They are used to transfer the data in either right direction or in left direction. So the first one is serial in serial out shift register. Serial in serial out shift register. The meaning of this one is data enters serially and leaves the register serially. I already told you what do you mean by register. Register is nothing but a group of flip-flops. Okay, for example, let us consider a 4-bit shift register. 4-bit shift register. So how many bits you are taking? That many that many flip-flops you need to show in the diagram because each bit will be stored by one flip-flop. So flip-flop is responsible for storing one bit of information. Okay, so if you are taking a block representation of this shift register, so serial in serial out shift register means I am saying four bits, so four blocks consider, and now data enters serially. Data may be entered from the left direction or it may be entered from the right hand direction. That depends upon the type of the construction we are using. Okay. So let us consider the data enters from the left hand side as input. This is what the serial input. Serial input data is a single bit. It may be either 0 or 1. Now the data is keep on shifting in the right side direction. So the data which is there in this particular cell will be moved to this next cell. Again the data which was there in the previously this particular data will be shifted to this location. Again this data will be shifted in this location. The data which was handled by this last flip-flop will be sent out. This is what serial out. Serial out. Okay. So serial in serial out means data enters serially and leaves the register serially. Okay. When the data is shifted, the shifting operation is performed for every clock pulse. Shifting operation is performed for every rising or falling that depends upon the type of the uh, clock we are using rising or falling edge of clock signal okay this is what the serial in serial out shift register now let us see the same serial in serial out shift register with the flip-flops diagram okay using using d flip-flop okay this type of flip-flops can be constructed using any type of flip-flops okay let us consider the construction using d flip-flops so d flip-flops consider how many four bits how many bits we are taking four bits so four flip-flops we should consider in cascade cascade means one after another okay i already told you all these flip flops are having input that is a synchronous or synchronous clock signal all these flip flops we are giving synchronous clock signal okay let us take this quite forward so four bits four flip flops we are taking okay so here it is the first serial in serial in data data enters serially serial in data bit that may be either 0 or 1 new bit it is d flip flop again the output of this one is connected to this d flip flop this is q and again the q is connected to the next flip flop this q is connected to the next flip flop and this is the serial out serial out okay suppose if it is three bit of information then three flip flops you have to consider and th from third flip flop onwards we are getting the serial out now as i mentioned it is a synchronous registers so all these clock signals are common and will have a change at a time altogether. This is the clock signal. So whenever the rising edge of the clock occurs, automatically the data will be 
moved from first uh, data new data to the output again the previous data to the here and again here the data will be here and watch what, what was the data handled by this particular flip-flop last one that will be taken as output this is what serial in serial out shift register the same can be constructed using jk flip-flop also just by taking the same construction instead of d flip-flops we can also construct using d uh, jk flip-flops using jk flip-flops using jk flip-flops So four flip-flops here also we should consider. So this is the J, K, J, K in order to act J, K as a buffer or a D flip-flop, we should give an inverter between J and K. Okay, already we have studied this concept. Here also we are using D flip-flop only, but that D flip-flop we are taking in terms of JK. See here, this is Q, this is Q bar, this is Q, this is Q bar. That means this is the true form and this is the complement form. However, J is taking true form and K is taking complement form. So one thing you can use inverter like this. Otherwise, you can give this connection Q bar to the K like this Q, Q bar and you can give like this and this is like this again q to j q bar to k because a is taking complement of the j this is q okay that's why i only to use one more inverter so directly you can take q bar output to k okay as i said all the flops are having synchronous clock signal so that all flip-flops will change that will transfer the data at a time okay this is serial in this is clock and this is serial out okay this is what serial in serial out there is no intermediate ta uh, outputs taken in serial in serial out the data may be entered from the left hand side or right hand side and data may be collected from the right hand side or left hand side vice versa okay we are not taking any intermediate data if we are taking intermediate data then it becomes parallel output okay that we are going to see here see serial in parallel out serial in parallel out shift register serial in parallel out shift register so what happens here here the data enters serially data enters serially so however consider 4 bit shift register so here consider 4 bit shift register okay See, data enters serially, so see, this is serial in and parallelly. Parallelly means, parallel means what? At a time from all the flip-flops, you are taking the output. So, here we have to take, here we have to take, here we have to take and here we have to take. All these are parallel outputs. Okay, let us suppose four flip-flops are there, four outputs are there. So, Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. These are the four flip-flop outputs at a time we are getting whenever the clock pulse occurs. Okay. So data enters serially and leaves the flip-flop parallelly. That's why it is known as serial in parallel out shift register. Data enters serially and leaves parallelly for every for every clock pulse. For every clock pulse rising a jar falling edge okay now let us see how this is happening so 4 bit serial in parallel shift register 
consider 4 bit means 4 flip flops okay this is d d d d q q q q now the output of this one is connected to next flip flop here also next flip flop here also next one here we are taking it as output now as it is a serial input data enters serially so serial in but serial out it is not serial out parallel out so parallel out means we are taking parallelly at a time from all the flip flops so at a time means here we have an output connection here we have an output connection here we have an output connection this is q q3 q2 q1 and q0 okay however all the flip flops are having common clock pulse so this is the clock pulse clock okay so this is what serial in parallel out shift register serial in parallel out data enters serially and leaves the flip flop parallelly at a time we are taking from all the flip flops okay uh, in terms of ic also we can show just a normal some srg4 shift register 4 and this is the serial data input serial data input and this is the clock and outputs are QA, QB, QC and QD. So these are the four outputs. This is the somewhat logic symbol. This is the logic symbol of this particular shift register. Okay, this one is the logic diagram. This is logic diagram. Okay, thank you.